Hi, my name is Aaron, and I'm an interpretive student aide with East Bay Regional Park District. Today, I'm out on the patio outside the visitor center here at Sonora Regional Wilderness. That's to show you one of my favorite wildflower activities to do during this amazing time of year. That's, of course, a seed ball. It may not look like much just by looking at them, but these balls of clay, soil, and wildflower seeds have an unexpected history. They're pretty easy to make, and they can turn any area into a refuge for pollinating animals. So today, I want to take you through a step-by-step -step on how you can make your very own seed balls. Hopefully in doing so, you'll find out just how you can make habitat from your home. Now, seed balls date back to the late 60s, a time when activists in areas like Berkeley and San Francisco, other urban areas in the Bay Area, were looking at ways to beautify and claim their communities. So, one way to do that was to take balls of seeds and clay and soil and mud, mash them together, and give them a quick toss into areas like old abandoned lots that are blocked by fences. And over time, these areas could become teeming with color, beauty, something that a community could take pride in. Today I'm going to show you how you can do the same to your local or backyard garden, and how in doing so you can also help create habitat that has been lost. So part of what makes seed balls such a fun activity to do is that there are very few materials required. So to start, I have just a couple plates of potting soil right here. Next to that, I have what's called clay powder. That's exactly what it sounds like. It's just tiny, tiny grains of clay um, that you can buy at local hardware stores or local nurseries, that sort of thing. Right next to that, I have a tray of wildflower seeds. What I have chosen for our seed balls today is the California poppies, our state flower. They're a great seed to use because they're hardy. Um, they will grow in most conditions, most backyard conditions, and as well as in the wild too. Um, they are great for attracting lots of pollinators, particularly beetles. Um, they also are great for birds. So to start, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our dry ingredients here. So I'm gonna start with um, potting soil. And what I've used, I have used four cups of potting soil. And I'm gonna compare that to one cup of powdered clay. Now the exact quantity is not super important, but you do wanna get that ratio of four to one. That's the most critical part. What we're gonna do there is give it a quick little shake. Mix them all together, try to get a nice, pretty mix here. Once we've done that, we're gonna take one cup of water. So again, not important the quantity, but we're gonna take that exact ratio, four, one to one here. I'm gonna mix that all in. And this is the fun part. This is where we get to get our hands extremely dirty here. So start mixing that together. And we want sort of like a homogenous mix. It's gonna start to turn into mud here. We're gonna get sort of, sort of a crumbly feeling to it. We just wanna keep on mixing. So once you get a nice, even mixture here, and once your hands are completely filthy, you can start forming a ball in your hands. So you wanna take just a small clump, and I'm kinda of aiming for a ball a little bit smaller than a ping pong ball. And we're just gonna use your hand to sort of form that. This one's even a little bigger than that. Not super important the size. But what the ball is going to do is it's going to act like a vessel for these seeds here. So as long as you have enough uh, surface area to get seeds on there, not that big a deal otherwise. So there we go. I have a little bit of a ball here. Doesn't have to be pretty. This is basically what we're looking for. So finally, our last step is to take our tray of wildflower seeds. Again, I have used California poppies for my seed balls. You are of course welcome to use any sort of wildflower seed you'd like. However, I would highly recommend using native California flowers because one, California native flowers are among the most beautiful in the entire world. Also, they're of course creating habitat for native species and pollinators, the many bees of pollinators. So that's bees, butterflies, bats, bugs, 
birds. So really simple, you just start rolling, try to get an even spread here and then it doesn't take long to get enough seeds on there and you kind of want to give them a little bit of a pat here just so they stay firm inside that clay here. You want to make sure they stay tight, that way they don't fall off. But once you're done, you get something that looks a little bit like this. So now that all our hard work is done here, now is for the fun part. So again, I'm outside our visitor center here at Sunol Regional Wilderness. We have some planter boxes here just in our patio area that are now starting to grow some wildflowers themselves. I'm going to try to add to that mix here by doing my best Steph Curry impression. Just giving it a quick toss. That's all there is to it. So now that my hands are clean here, I want to thank you all for joining me today. I hope you found this video helpful. More importantly, I hope you all go out and visit your parks. In my opinion, this is the best time to be outside in nature and in your East Bay Regional Parks. So I hope you enjoy your day, and as always, enjoy your parks.